Hi everybody, today in math class we worked on writing and evaluating multiplication and division expressions. So we used tables uh, to help us organize this information. So let's take a look at this problem. Anna charges $8.50 per hour to babysit. Complete the table and answer the questions below. So in one hour she's going to make $8.50. In two hours, she's going to double that, so she will make $17. In five hours, we can go ahead and start looking for the pattern. If it's $8.50 per one hour, then in five hours, we can set up the multiplication. And there are two places being saved behind the decimal, so I'd need two places saved behind the decimal. So in five hours, she's going to make $42.50. Now the cool thing about charts is now that when we get to eight hours, there's a couple different things that we can do. I can see I already have five, six, seven, eight. These three add up to eight. So I could add these three right here to get my eight hours. That's one way to do it. Or I would just prefer a simple multiplication but whatever way works best for you, you can go ahead and solve it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply these out. 64, 68. Two places have to be saved behind the decimal. So I have $68 here. So what I've noticed is it's $8.50 per hour. So no matter how many hours I have, I took my $8.50 and times it by that many hours. So my equation is going to be $8.50 times h. I could also write that algebraically like 8.5 just to get rid of that extra place value because it's not holding any specific place of value, h. So when I'm writing a description for her earnings for working h hours, I can use this or this. How much will she earn if she works three and a half hours? So again, I can do a couple different things. Three and a half hours, I can take a look at my chart and say, here's three hours here, and I can add those two up, um, and then take half of 850. So I can show you that way. So I can say half equals half of 850 is $4.25, and then two plus one makes three, well, that's $17 plus $8.50 plus my half hour of $4.25. So if you want to do it that way, let's, let's get rid of that time sign. Plus, I've got 75 cents here and 19, here's one, $29.75. Or, if you didn't want to do it that way, we can go ahead and we can use multiplication again. So, I can take my $8.50 and times it by, oops, and I'm just going to do 8.5 instead of $8.50, times it by 3.5 hours, which is 3.5. 5 times 5 is 25. Here are the 2. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 2 more is 42. So put my zero down for that placeholder. Now I'm going to multiply everything by the three. Five times three is 15. Here are the one. Eight times three is 24 plus one more. 25. Adding it up, I have five, seven, nine, two. But up here I had one and two places that I needed to save behind the decimal. So one, two places behind the decimal. I still get $29.75. So either way you choose to do it will get you the same answer. And then finally, letter C says, how long will it take Anna to earn $51? So we can do a couple different things. Right away, looking at the chart, I can see it's more than five hours because five hours is $42.50. And eight, it's got to be less than eight hours because eight hours is $68, right? So I know it's going to be in there somewhere. So I've got six and seven really to choose from. So I can do a couple different things. I can start with 42.50 and I can add 
$8.50 onto that. If I do that, I'll find out that six hours is exactly $51 just by using the chart. So I could take my one hour of 8.50 plus my five hours of 42.50. And when I add that up, that's 51. So that equals six hours. Or I can go ahead and I could do the division. So I'm going to just show you the division over here. And hopefully we'll still get six hours, right? It should. So we're going to take our $51 and we're going to divide that by $8.50. So I'm just going to do 8.5 because I don't need that extra zero behind it. It's just holding a place of value for the pennies. I can work that in later. Um, I don't want to, can't divide by $8, 8.5. I have to divide by a whole number. So what I have to remember then is I have to make sure I, if I multiply by 10, one place value for each of these to keep it even, I can now change this so that it's still equivalent and I'm dividing by 85, a whole number. So there's no sets of 85 and 5. There's no sets of 85 and 5 in 51. But I'm pretty sure there's going to be eight sets of eight or six sets of 85 in 510. So let's start with a six since we already worked it out over here, right? So six times five is 30. Three to three. Six times eight is 48. Plus three more is 51. Subtracting, I have nothing left over. So it's this zero is just holding it's behind the decimal. So I have exactly six hours again. So again, I'm just trying to show you a couple different ways. When we have a chart, we can multiply and divide and add and subtract using decimals. Um, we can put things together differently, whichever way your mathematical brain decides to connect with it. But as long as you're doing it correctly, you're going to get the same answer. So I hope this helps in your practice. Good luck and make a difference.